classy, Sir Will. Wait a minute. Something doesn't seem right here, Nick. It looks like the script is backwards. No worries, Nick. We shall make do. Uh, doubtful. Anyways, are you a graduating student with five English credits and an average of over 75% in these classes? If so, you need to sign up on the English department door if you wish to receive the English Excellence Certificate at commencement. Sign up is this week. Grade 9 students will be writing EQAO this year. Take a look at these helpful tips from Mr. G. Taylor. EQAO is the Grade 9 Mathematics uh, Equivalency Assessment uh, of Ontario. Grade 9s have to write it uh, during their classes. Uh, the Wednesday and Thursday in uh, June, just before classes end. I believe it's the 13th and 14th. Uh, applied or academic. It's partly multiple choice. It's partly open response. In the open response, you'll want to be showing all of your work. And it's across two days, so if a question doesn't turn up on the first day, you might expect it on the second day. It may act as your exam, so you'll want to look at all the different strands. You need some memory techniques, you know, you can put things in, in rhyme or rhythm or song. Uh, one plot two day predicting it's about extrapolation. Find which of the spots should be balancing dots for this relation. If it goes up, correlation's positive. If it's down, then a negative sign. Residuals in sight. So study hard. Those are very helpful indeed. I know I'll be singing that song all day. All day. That's nice. In other news, have you heard about Wonderland? It's a wonderland of music, film fantasy, and so much more, featuring the musical talents of Sir Will's bands and vocalists. Tickets are on sale now. $10 for adults and $5 for students and or seniors. The show starts at 7 p.m. on Thursday, May 31st, in the gym. It sounds like it's going to be in a, a wicked show. Are you a member of this year's junior boys basketball team? You are reminded that there is a team lunch Tuesday in Portable 2. Also, all members of the junior and senior boys rugby teams this season are asked to come to a meeting on Wednesday, May 30th, at the beginning of lunch in Portable 1. This meeting is extremely important. If you are unable to make it, please speak to one of your coaches. Now over to Nick, who is interviewing Anita and Sam about Leadership Camp. Thank you, Corey. I'm here with Sam and Anita, and they're going to give us a bit of a lowdown on what happened last Friday at Leadership Camp. So am I right it lasted from noon Friday until noon Saturday? Yeah. Okay, so how many students were able to participate? Um, well, there are about 51 kids, including the leaders. There are about 60. So. Okay, yeah. so enough kids then. Yeah. So what did you guys do exactly? We played a lot of like leadership activities, one of them being the jello game. And what it is is you split your team in two, and half your team throws your jello, where the ha other half of the team tries to catch it. And whichever team um, catches the most jello wins. Bonding through jello. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so... Uh, Obviously, you guys slept over, so where did you guys sleep then? Um, well, the girls got to sleep in the calf. Meanwhile, the guys got to sleep in the staff room. So, yeah, that was pretty sick. And we made a fort, so. You built a nice. fort? Yes. Out of what? Um, like one of those tarps, like those giant tarps with all the different rainbow colors on it. Nice, nice. I like it. Improvising. Oh, nice. So what did you guys do then Saturday? Saturday, we finished off with a barbecue, and we played a bit of Amazing Race kind of thing, okay. going country to country. Mm -hmm. That sounds like fun. So... To close out the day then and the whole event, did you guys have any sort of special event going on then? Um, well, basically we just had a barbecue and um, everyone was just kind of like signing um, everybody else's t-shirts. Okay. So that was about it. Okay, so this event then, would you recommend this to future students who want to participate? Well, we know for sure that the leaders loved it, but if you want a different viewpoint of it, talk to the students who went. We think they loved it. They told us they loved it, so we hope they did. Okay, so real-life testimonies then. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys very much for being here. Okay. Back to the desk with Corey. That's it for all your announcements, Sir Will. Good morning. It's day two on your timetable.